Warning. The following program is a satirical critique of the recent deluge of reality-based programming. Due to its offensive nature, viewer discretion is strongly advised. This week on Real Life, John and Wang Tan duke it out. Dahlia has a close encounter, Cedric showcases his poetry skills, Chloe sets her sights, and Jamil's in the kitchen. Well, I've got three. Cool. Why, well, hello, Dahlia. Hello, Mr. Ankerberg. The name is Dahlia. What do you want? Just being neighborly. I plan to give Archimedes his flea dip bath later on this afternoon. Care to join me? No, no, thank you. I bought a new electro comb. You could use it for his delousing. Yick, whatever. We're wearing her down, Archimedes. She didn't spit on us this time. Son of a bitch, that was a legal move, goddammit! Do you have to swear so much? If you don't like it, you can kiss Wang Tan's big black ass! Erwin, you're not black. Shut up, bitch. Brother's busy. Doing what? Drinking Mountain Dew and spilling it all over my C++ books? And playing WWF No Mercy? Like... This place is a mess. Can't you clean up after yourself? I think you were pressed to be long enough, Whitey. Look, all I'm saying is I'm tired of prying Slim Jim wrappers from between the couch cushions. Well, why don't you stop your sack swinging and go make me a sandwich, bitch? Okay, that does it. This is off. No! I was just trying to start my day out right, you know what I'm saying? I was doing the same workout routine I do every morning. I was headed out to uh, Music World to pick up the new Together album, and uh, I passed by Cedric's room, and uh, I looked at the door handle, and I saw my sports bra, and it was full of nails. So I did what any independent woman would do. I kicked his ass Bruce Lee style. Man, what I wouldn't get for some of that. Your PlayStation, maybe? No. Never stole her undergarments. I wouldn't desecrate her like that. We don't know what she's talking about either. Me neither, man. This is a typical Freudian scenario. Cedric may have a passive aggressive relationship with his mother, and so he takes his frustration out on Dahlia. And in return, Dahlia has a major inferiority complex, triggered by, say, an old boyfriend who left her for some bigger skank, so she takes it out on the first available male. So that blatantly explains it. Either that, or Cedric has a deeply rooted identity crisis. I've always believed that deep in the bowels of her velveteen heart, Dahlia may have a special place for me. So I wrote her a poem. Our love is masochistic, though it makes me very sad. How should I thank you, darling, to not make me feel so bad? I spelled sad as S-A-D-E, like the Marquise the Sad. I don't know if I'll ever give this to her, though. She might think I can't spell. Oh, oh, uh, how, uh, uh, 20, 23, uh, 2350, please. Aren't you the director? No, 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 uh, Chinese food, 2350, please. Take your top off. Show some skin. It's got boost rating. What? Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, enjoy your meal. Thank you. Thank you. يا حبيبي بسرعة طاقة ماما تجيبني ده شد شعري لا سونة تشحيش ما ما بدل اشوفهم بعيني هاي في واحدة بنت عطلها علي ما بعرف اشبه مجنونة اسكيني عجل عجل اوام سرعة 
Yeah, so Jamil, you know, he's cool and all, you know, except he's got some real strange traditions like, you know, napkins and shit. <laughs> Crazy, man. Anyways, I gotta go get my Slim Jims at the 7-Eleven, so, you know, peace out, alright? Man, my stomach's grumbling like the low rider. Hey, Jamil, where my food at? I am cooking it for you, my Canadian friend. Well, I don't want none of that green shit like last time. You mean salad? Yeah. Brother can't get no decent food around here unless he raises some shit. Weren't you supposed to buy the groceries last week? Yeah, what did you do with the grocery money we gave you? Shut up, Whitey. Play, I got a flash of bling bling. You want to play with the hose? Dumbass. Like, why would you want to play with a garden hose? Why don't you go back to the skank bank where you belong, ho? I'll bank! Garden you hose? You want to see this talk about garden hose? Hey, 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 let's stay civilized here. I mean, Jamil was nice enough to cook his dinner and all. Let's not pollute his karma with negative vibes. Man, shut up, queer! Jamil, where my food at? Yeah, seriously, and we'd like something that doesn't make our insides explode. Thank you very much. Here. What the hell is this? Man, it looks like the Swamp Thing's nutsack. You are so gross. Jamil, I hope you don't expect us all to eat this. Nothing ever good for you people. Always Jamil, make me the, the, quick, the quicker oatmeal. Jamil, make me shishka ook. Jamil, take your pants off. Guess what I'm not just a I only asked him to take his pants off once. Dumbass. Uh, guys. What? We never bought any pickles. Offensive? Of course it's offensive. That's what people want. And that's what I'm giving them. Go away. I said go away. God, that's Sally Field. <laughs> She's such a strong woman. Mm -hmm. If only the Academy would honor her. Her her performance in Eye for an Eye was breathtaking. She's such a strong woman. Uh, strong. Chloe, technically she did win one, but not for Eye for a... Shut ah! up, freak! She's just trying to have a moment here. You see, my girl Julia was good back then. Keeping it real, keeping it real. Not before she played Aaron Bronco like some hoochie mama. Man, why did Shelby have to die? Okay, mister, in the ghetto. Hey, could you try to keep it down? Some of us are trying to watch a movie. Yo, who you disrespecting, white boy? You better shut the f*** up or I'm gonna bust a cap in your pasty white ass. I'd like to see you try, flyboy. Say what, biatch? Shh! This is the part where Daryl Hannah does that, that thing. Hey, Bert keeps hogging the bean dip. Next week on Real Life. Oh my god. Who could it be? <laughs> Bert! You're Bert! Bert! You okay, man?